Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen's Memories of Making Movies, Sifu vs. Vampire, Part 3. After shooting the scene with Philip M, mm, my left side was bugging me. After all, I'd fallen on it. The next scene I was involved in was a short one, but it would turn out to be pretty memorable. In the second part of the scene, Zhang Lujia hits me and I'm supposed to fall over onto my left side. Luckily, there was padding put down my leg and on my arm, but it still hurt from falling over before. The night before I did my filming, I had met Zhang Lujia and talked to her. She was really nice and very funny and seemed to enjoy talking to me, which I found rather confusing. I had been talking to her during the night while we were waiting for things to be set up, and she was having a problem. She didn't know that they'd wanted her to wear these high-heeled platform shoes that made it not only difficult for her to execute her action work, but they were also uncomfortable. They were uncomfortable to me for a different reason. The shot that we're in together opens with her having her foot against my throat. Because the shot opens that way, we had to get her up into position before the cameras rolled. Well, as she's moving around trying to get her balance, a couple of times, she kind of stuck my neck against the wall like this. But I didn't want to say anything because, you know, it was my first movie. And mm. Sometimes as I looked over at her, at first I wanted to try to smile and say like, okay, let's go have fun. But she wasn't smiling at all. It was kind of scary. To say that she's intense would be a very strong understatement. In the shot, which opens with her in that position, she then jumps down, hits Winston on her left, and then backhands me. And I told her, you know, for the sake of realism, if she wanted to hit me, it'd be fine. And I touched my shoulder. Well, the first take, she did. In the second take, she hit me in the neck. And in the third take, she clocked me right in the face. I fell over and just laid there each time, which was easy to do because she hits pretty hard. But, you know, I'd been married before, so getting punched in the face wasn't exactly new to me. What was new was that as soon as the shot was over, she ran over and apologized to me. That was a little confusing. As I walked away after the scene ended, I was kind of rubbing my face. And Daniel, the director, came out of the room he was in at the other end of the hallway and said, Are you all right? I could hear that in there. And I kind of said, yeah, I guess I'm okay, you know, because I didn't want to look like a punk. As I walked into the other room rubbing my face, Yun Byu looked at me and said, Welcome to being a stuntman. And I have to be honest, I felt better right away. My first experience making movies was kind of brief, and I stayed up all night, and I was nervous and everything else, but it's still incredibly memorable. One thing I have to say is that the crew worked really hard. A lot of times I wanted to stay out of the way just because these guys were doing stuff, and I didn't want to interfere with them. I also obviously want to thank Daniel Chan for asking me to do it, I also want to thank Philip M because he turned the scene into something much bigger than I'd expected. And while it made me really nervous to have to do it, I'm glad that I did. I'm also glad that I could do it and I didn't screw up the movie. I want to thank Zhang Luzia too because I'd always been a fan and now I got to be in a movie and she punched me in the face and afterwards we even got to hang out. Guess what? I took her to the dynasty because after all, that's what you do. I really enjoyed the experience of making this movie and if I'm lucky enough to do it again, I'll also share my experiences with you guys. Until then, please go watch Sifu vs. Vampire legally. Don't steal this movie. I'm in it, you scumbags. Thank you very much for watching.